All right, y'all, good morning. <clears throat> we are uh, continuing the trek north on this here river. And uh, I'm not, well, I'm about five miles from where I was the last video I did out here. But this stretch that I found, uh, it's not, well, the bottom is a lot like what I'm kind of looking for, but we have a lot of sporadic rock. And that's kind of what I saw when I was scanning too. Uh, but either way, it's a, it's a it's a stretch. It's a long stretch that is in it's 50 foot plus you know water, and that's kind of what I was looking for today. Is I want to I want to fish a little bit more deeper water because uh, I got this spot and there's some more up around the, the bend there that you know have some deep holes, 60 foot holes and stuff like that. And if I need to go there, I'll eventually go there. Uh, water temps today uh, are 50 degrees right at 50 degrees and we still got just like it was when i was out here last time we got a lot of activity down there about the well we're in 51 foot right now there's a lot of activity right around that 50 foot range so at 50 50 or 48 to well 45 i guess but a lot of activity so we'll we'll see if most of those are catfish or or stripers or you know whatever uh, i mean i don't care I've, i mean i've caught stripers dragging baits too so those will be one of those will be fun to get but uh but yeah like i said this whole stretch is a lot of activity i, I scanned all of it so what we're going to go across is everything that i scanned and uh hopefully we pick up a good fish uh that water temp uh from yesterday we had that front push in yesterday well yeah yesterday and last night so it's it's cold this morning so with any luck these old cats that's what they done is they just pushed down and that's a good mark there golly <laughs> holy crap that's a good fish just off to the off to the right here but uh <clears throat> hopefully we get us get us uh some good ones today that's it's what i've been looking for they've been kind of they've been kind of uh hard to get uh, I could see them every now and again, but just getting the bites a whole other thing. So that's the reason why I, I decided to find just a, a deeper water. I don't think I'm going to get above 50 feet today. So that's the plan if, if this stretch here, because uh, it does not get out of 50 foot. If anything, like we're getting ready to dump off in a hole, it, uh, it gets down to 57 foot, but then it'll come right back up to say 50 foot, 48 or uh, uh, 40, 52 to 50 foot. That's what it'll come back up to. And then if we don't catch nothing out of here, then we're going to run uh, further north and uh, fish some of them 60-foot holes. They're pretty good-sized holes. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm hoping to find is just these fish stacked up in these holes. But, but yeah, we'll, uh, I guess you guys can just sit back and relax, and I guess we'll see what happens. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about today. I, I really think we're going to do pretty good today. Everything's had a chance to settle down. That water temp is back down where it was as far as surface temp. So we should we should we should hook into a few today. Now the head's still good. I'm gonna toss, toss him back out there. There's a fish. There we go. All right, <laughs> he's not a big one, but like I said, I come through, there was, got hit on the middle rod, got hit on both outside rods. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Just come through, because I think what it is, I think we, we are running through some fish, but it's just a, it's just a matter of time. Is he running at me now? Or did he come off? Surely he didn't come off. He did come off. God, dog. Look at that, man. God, I hate it when they do that. Yeah, that's how I lost him right there. He knocked that hook right back into the bait. <sighs> that's all right though that happens this is what it is that's 
That's part of fishing. But you can see the mud on that slime right there. So, cool. If we just, but like I said, I think we're around the fish. You know, that's what a lot of that activity is. I think a lot of it is catfish. It's just, you, you just gotta, I guess, have it in front of their face when that, that bite window opens up. That's the way it's kind of been, because I've been around fish a lot these last couple of trips. But I'm thinking that's the that's the ticket. You just gotta be out there when that bite window opens up. Now maybe this is it. There he is. God, dog. There we go. That one's hooked up, I do believe. Yeah, I say, I guess we're just getting in that bite window where they want to feed. Come on, buddy. Not a record breaker. But fish. Skunk. As they say, is out of the boat. <clears throat> I think it's the hardest fish to catch is that first one of the day. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy, but I think most of the time the hardest fish to, the hardest fish today to catch is that first one. Up, buddy. That's all right. Got the skunk out of the boat. I mean, just as muddy as can be. Okay, you see, now I know I went over this last video. We could probably, I'll get you some of the audio on that. So, Feel how hot, I mean, you could listen. I mean, I, I could barely push that. It's like a dang drum. Let me help you out, buddy. At some point, you're gonna have to open up, though, buddy. It's gonna take as long as you need it to. Come on now. You have to open that mouth, buddy. You, there's no way you're going to get back down there. There we go. Scissors. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could see it when it happened. Boy, you, he was all kinds of relief. Now you see, you see the difference. You can't hear it no more. Yeah, there was absolutely no. Cause I pulled him out of 57 foot of water. Yep, that's why you keep that. That thing was like a, like a drum. That's how tight his stomach was. Oh, there we go. Eat that head. That's why you always leave one out there. <laughs> Boy, he hit it like he was a big one. He's not, though. <laughs> He's not. But he sure hit it like he was. <laughs> I like it when they smack it like that. That's, that's kind of cool when they hit it like that. Just want it. That's what I like. All right.
Well, they're slightly getting bigger. They're definitely nothing to brag about yet. They are slightly getting bigger. Oh no, buddy. Man, that old hook went through you twice. Got you in the top lip and then the bottom lip. <laughs> yeah, you were you were pretty well stuck. I mean, just another one, but we're pulling them out of, like I said, we're still 55 foot of water. So, another one. These old fish are cold, cold. You can see how this one, see how it's, you can see how his fins are all pink, his lips are all pink. All this is pink. They are cold down there. All right, buddy, you good to go now. There he goes. Yeah, them fish are cold, boy. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Holy crap. Come across that rock point right there. Heck yeah. A little bit better fish here. Don't think he's a monster, but he's still a better fish. Right on that rock point there. Because I could tell when we start coming across that rock because that you know the rods start well doing that little that tick thing and then they start falling into them bigger rocks like that that's on the bank so i don't know he may have been right before it i learn it every time i come out here ah you done got me tangled up buddy what'd you do that for got one Hitting that one over there. <laughs> Are you still messing with it? <laughs> Man, you are all kinds of messed up, buddy. I think he is. Let me go see if he's still on there. Yep, he's still on there. <laughs> right up on top of that rock. I think he's still on there. If he is, boy, he's an itty bitty one. Yeah, he's still on there. He's just a small one. That one got me all wrapped up. He's got the, he's got my other line wrapped around his body and he's got my other, or my main line wrapped around his face. <laughs> he's just all kinds of messed up. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, there ain't no shortage of these up here. That's a fact. There ain't no shortage of these. My Lord. Man, you guys are just...
<laughs> oh my god. You're not, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, did he come off? <laughs> Holy crap, chaos. My dang suspended rod was going too. <laughs> I must have come across the water, boy. I like said a lot of times it's that it's that bite window and it gets you back down there. Yeah, I had one taken off of my dang suspended rod. I got <laughs> Let's see if he comes back. Well he was swimming off with it too. Had it bowed in the water, but put the... Okay, any anybody else want to take off? And I still got this one here I got to tend to. <laughs> okay, you chill out. I'm, uh, I'm taking care of you in the order you bit, I think. Come here, buddy. I know you're just you're just all kinds of messed up I mean you were down there twisting twirling look at this look at this <laughs> oh I've been a wad of them you're, you're gonna have to just chill out buddy because you are m way messed up here I'm gonna all right, no more rice taking off. I'm going to show you how this fish is. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He didn't got everything all kinds of twisted up. He's even got that line wrapped around my main line, which is spun back around the hook somehow. <sighs> this is, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Let me just, and I got rods laying everywhere. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool to catch one on that suspended rod. Man, how did you do that, buddy? You just, hang on, hang on, hang on. You ain't doing nothing making a bigger mess, bub. <laughs> we gonna get it we gonna get it hold on is that one free okay we got we got this one free let me just set it over here But you still flopping around, but now you're just getting tangled back up in the line. You're doing that on purpose. Yeah, you're. Okay. All right, you're done. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. Not a bad one. He ain't, he ain't a bad one by no means. But he did make a mess of everything. Thank you, buddy. Ah, dog.
That was weird. I bet that was a fish. I bet you that was a fish. It is a fish. God, dog. Did I just miss the bite? I probably did. He swam way out here with it. I was wondering why that planter board was acting all weird. <laughs> what do I got, boys? It's a better fish, whatever it is, but he was he was swimming this way with it, like upriver with it. Heck yeah, that's a better fish here. <laughs> this is this is awesome. We get you guys turned. I know this. Yeah, he's a better fish for sure. Heck yeah. But he was. He, he picked it up, but he was swimming this way. That's why my planer board was acting all weird, but I don't know if, I guess I didn't see it. Maybe I got it on video of the takedown. Where are you going, buddy? No, 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 stay over here. Look, look, look. Oh God, I missed it. <laughs> oh yeah, he is. Oh no, he was tangled up. That's what it was. Tangled up. I thought that was another fish, but he's a good one, y'all. He's a good one. <laughs> Come here. Come here, buddy. There you go. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> I just, that's all you could do, man. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, that's a good fish there. <sighs> oh my God. I mean that, oh, that dude was just sitting down there, man. Come on, now I gotta get, let me clean this. Y'all need to see this fish. Oh. <laughs> you got me a best, Bubba. All right, so I can tend to the rest of that here in a minute. Okay. All right, you are most definitely glove worthy for sure. Sorry about keeping you out so long, buddy, but you, gave, you had me a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, no, look at this fish. <laughs> Oh, I gotta turn the camera. Oh my God. Oh, look at this fish. <laughs> look at this dude right here. Look at him. That's a good one. I'm gonna get a weight on this one though, boys. I'll be with you in just a second. All right, y'all. I think, I think with, 
This wet was like two and a half pounds, but we gonna weigh it real quick. The first time we get it wet. All right, two and a half pounds. That's what I think this weighs. Okay, well, so 2.7. All right, 2.7 is what this weighs. I'm hurrying, buddy. You'd be all right. is 2.7 pounds all right so let's I guess I could have teared it out that's all right oh, oh. oh god it's on kilograms come on man Okay, let's try this again. Oh, all right. 50. He was 54. So we'll call him. We'll call him 52. 50. 51. 52. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. He's a big old bale. Let me get a picture of him. All right, let's release him, buddy. 52 pounder. There you go. Oh, Lord. You want to talk about something else? <laughs> That is awesome. Like I said, he hit that, but he was he hit it, and he swam all the way up that way, which is weird. But I knew he was going to come across the good one. I knew he was going to come across the good one. Heck yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going to give you guys a little a little tip that I use quite a bit uh, myself. Now we've got. We've got decent current now. We didn't have any this morning. So that's why I had my four foot drift sock out because I know that if I've got it out, it'll create enough drag where I, it'll help better regulate my speed when I'm dragging. Cause my, like right now we've got the breeze coming up, which it's supposed to change throughout the day coming from one direction or another. But <clears throat> the reason I say that is I have my four footer out because I knew the trolling motor would pull me a little too fast. And, uh, and I use that with no current to regulate my speed so I can pull against the drift sock to regulate my speed. Because uh, sometimes on two and a half, I'm too slow. Sometimes on three, I'm too fast, you know? So what I do with these drift socks, they help them regulate my speed. It's not only just, I don't only just use them to, uh, you know, keep the boat straight and yes, it, you know, definitely slowing it down, uh, but it also helps me set the trolling motor at a speed that I want because I, I'm trying to target uh, 0.2 exactly. It seems to be the, it seems, <laughs> which is weird because you would think, well, if 0.2 works, then 0.3 ought to work. It's been 0.2 for some reason. Has been the, the optimal speed that these fish want them baits coming by them. Of course, the water's cold. And so that makes a lot of sense. So, <clears throat> but since we picked up the current, and like I've said before, is uh, that four foot drift sock, it's almost like a part break for this boat. So I have to, you know, I'll run, I'll drop down to one of my uh, two foot drift socks. And then that'll do the same thing that'll help slow me down because now it's going to work, uh, now that we've got the current, it's going to work. Not quite as hard as a four foot sock, but it'll do all right.
Now the other thing is I was wanting to tell you before we got too far is uh, I know I don't I hope you can see it but right let's see right over there there's a rock point on the bank and right before that was a like a, uh, a well a mud bank and then before that was a rock point so we came up on this rock point here which actually comes out into the water and as we were coming up over it is when them when I had them fish hit and, and boy you've seen the chaos uh, so the, the cool thing about it is we've got another one right up here so that, I know that goes out into the water and uh, we'll see what's what's on top of that because like I said we picked up all them littler fish <clears throat> and then of course caught that that big one uh, so, but they were all sitting right on, sitting right on top of it, which was kind of weird. So I don't know if it's just, uh, the way the fish, the fish are set up right now. Um, instead of laying down in the mud where they were, they're kind of moved up, probably, probably feeding. So that's just, uh, food for thought. If you guys come across stuff like that, because that's, that's kind of neat. Cause usually I'd catch them, usually I'd catch them before that, uh, as it started to come up. Well, they, they were right there on top of it, every single one of them, because I, I, I could tell just by the way the, the dragon weights were grabbing them rocks, they, uh, uh, you know, I knew I was coming up over the rocks. And yeah, as soon as I come up on it, man, it was like bam, 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 bam. I had rods going everywhere. So we got one more rock point coming up. And then what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go down further, because I started to that red buoy right there, but I'm gonna go down further where it starts to bend back around and drag some more. Like I said, I plan on putting a full day in today just because I'm excited to try new areas, man. And, and so far it's paid off. Even the first one we did the last time, it, it actually, it did pay it off. We caught a lot of fish down through there. So we're gonna go down a little bit further once we get past this rock point and see what happens. There's the fish. Not a monster, but it's a fish. See if I can keep tangling everything up again. Uh -huh. Not a bad one. Yeah, he's not a bad one. See, we're coming up on this harder bottom. Ah, it's just weird. I mean, it's not really, but because they'll, <clears throat> that's why it's always a good idea to, you know, fi uh, fish that stuff. You know, even if the day before, the week before you were catching them on, you know, one type of bottom, it's always good to go ahead and give it, you know, another bottom a try. Like, like I said, I've been targeting uh, the mud bottoms for the last, I don't know, a couple weeks. And then they're here. All these fish have come off when this, when the bottom really turns into like a, like a hard bottom. So it's another decent fish. Not as big as the last one, but he's a decent fish. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not a bad one said he's no no 50 pounder but he's a good one boy he's fighting strong too Another one for the net, but he was also on that shallow side. So that's that's two two good fish that's come off that shallow side. Because I'm a firm believer that if, like, especially right now, if you stay 
near or in the deep water, but close, you know, to a shallow flat or the type of bottom they want to be in, you'll just catch them fish moving. Because a lot of the fish that are probably sitting out here in the main channel that you could probably see, scan, and you know, and find, that, that's, oh, that's, yeah, he's a decent one. But they're just sitting down, they're not wanting to eat. You know, they're just chilling, they're just waiting, doing that. When the old feeding window opens up, they're in the prime position to come up here and feed, and I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. But I still think deep water is the key to at least be in or around, have it close. Like I said, I'm in, I'm still in 52 feet of water. And that's, that's been the ticket. Uh, you're, you're a glove worthy, buddy. How did all that work out? So yeah, I think that's the ticket. Like I said, we're getting ready to come back up on that, that hard bottom over there. Hang on, buddy, hang on, buddy. Well, well. This is a, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. I think this is a female, actually. Got this small head, she's got a small jaw. All right, let me get a picture of her. Let her go. Well, all right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. Uh, we, we did pretty dang good today. Uh, I was really impressed with, like I said, this is yet again another piece of water that I've never fished before. Uh, the, only thing I, the only thing I targeted today that I know has been working and what will work in the wintertime uh, is finding deep water, and that's what I've done. I got on Navionics the other day. Uh, I just kind of scoured, uh, you know, just kind of looked and found like deep channels, uh, deep holes, and uh, things like that. And and lo and behold, it paid off. Now the only monkey rich in this whole system is that for a while I've been finding them on the soft bottoms. Now if I did have rock that come out, that, nothing, absolutely nothing on top of rocks, but uh, I would catch them on the soft bottoms in between the rocks. And well, today it was the opposite. Uh, well, I did catch a few in the soft bottom, but it was right before these rock points that come out. And once I got up on top of the rock points, it was on fire. You can see that, you know, well. I guess let me get this little fish. And that's the, one of the things you're gonna run into as well is you're gonna, you know, you're gonna catch some little fish, but, but yeah, cause we're coming right on the, we're right on the top edge or front edge of that, of that, uh, that rock point that goes out. And so it's been, it's been pretty good. <laughs> like I said, the last, I don't know, four or five trips, what I've targeted was soft bottoms. And uh, it's just like, again, today, I don't, it's kind of throwing me for a loop, you know, that now I have to target rock. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a, you know, a, a bite window thing. You know, maybe they're hanging out close to it because before I was catching them before or after the rock points that go out into the water. So, but like I said earlier, you know, you just, you can't dismiss little places like this. You know, even if you don't catch them or haven't caught them there, it doesn't mean that these fish won't eventually show up there, you know? So, if, like I said before, you know, worst case scenario, you just still continue to not catch anything on them. But, you know, you might hang into a good one. And that's what we did today. I actually hung into a couple of decent ones. Yeah, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, you're good. You're just fat from eating. Thank you, buddy.
he was twirling all the way up so he was kind of disoriented <laughs> but uh but yeah that's the deal it, it, it paid off today and it's it, it's just kind of it's just kind of neat that it did and i'm glad because like i said i i mean i had a good feeling about today anyway but because the weather the weather's about right and that water temp like uh we're well we're still 50 degrees so that's good but yeah <clears throat> It's just food for thought next time you guys go out fishing. If you're fishing ledges and stuff like that, don't always dismiss what you haven't caught them on before because I, I had no hopes of catching anything across them rocks. And then all of a sudden we picked up a 50 pounder and picked up a 30 pounder. And then of course a bunch of smaller ones. But, but yeah, like I was telling you about the drift socks too, you know, just, just keep in mind drift socks ain't just a, slow you down in the wind or nothing like that i also use them to regulate my speed on my trolling motor uh, so that's something else uh, you guys can take with you and think about and try next time you're out <clears throat> but i'm going to wrap this one up and like always i appreciate you watching this one and i'll catch you on the next one